Today's Week 4 non-conference matchup has the Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West Conference traveling to Denton to take on the North Texas Mean Green of the American Athletic Conference. The Cowboys are 2-1 after last week's 28-25 victory over the BYU Cougars. A look at the Mountain West standings after Week 3. The Cowboys currently do not have any players on the injury report with significant injuries. This week's Top 25 Rankings The Cowboys' individual stats through Week 3.
the Cowboys recruiting board after week three. And now, our Week 4 non-conference matchup as the 2-1 Cowboys travel to Denton to take on the 2-1 North Texas Mean Green. Welcome to Denton, Texas, home of the North Texas Mean Green, and the fans have been waiting since early this morning for the clash we have in store. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the North Texas Mean Green. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Cowboys will kick it away to start us off. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. So the North Texas Mean Green offense takes the field and they'll try to put together the first drive of the game. And there he is. When you have a guy like this, you don't mind building your attack around the running game, guys. And he's a grown man. There's no doubt about it. This offense runs through him. Everybody gets their emotion, and everything is built on him and around him. And everybody knows this guy's going to touch the football, and still, defenses can't stop him. He can run through tackles and make big things happen. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. North Texas in the hurry up. Looking to throw, it's Morris. He's got an open man. And oh no, he loses the ball at the end of the run. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. You know, this is a receiving group that practices making catches in traffic, and they're used to having guys trying to rip it free. He's got to do a better job of keeping five points of pressure. After he makes the catch, that's a costly giveaway. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the gun, the ground game. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Right back to the well. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the Cowboys will line it up on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He's got his man. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short gain. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium.
Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Gets it out quickly. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. This receiver is such a weapon, and he has so much speed, and he can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. The Cowboys will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. He's looking to throw. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. Receivers do this every day, all day. Throw it up. I will go get it. I will stay in bounds. Nice job knowing where he was at on the field to get that foot in bounds, to get the big touchdown for this offense. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Texas takes possession. The Mean Green offense will return to the field. Hold and fire complete. And he won't quite get there but boy after that pickup just a few inches to go for the first an array of possibilities here wants to throw it's Morris and they couldn't hold off the heat and he goes down with the sack North Texas in the hurry up that's a massive play by the defense they were not fooled second in inches they thought pass was a possibility they get the sack and now they force the offense in a third and long situation Gives it to the back on the draw. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. They want to get this defense on its heels. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Quarterback on the keeper. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him. Second guy finally did. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. North Texas really has it going on offense. Handoff from the gun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Finds his tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense. Moving forward. And that had all the makings of bug meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Off the play fake. 
Moving out of the pocket. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. Birch is way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. Third and goal coming up here. Back to throw. It's Morris. Scrambling away. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Mean Green. The field position was bad. The finish was great. Great way to answer that poor field position. Poor field position, no problem. How about it? Great job by the offense coordinator. This offense getting in a good rhythm early, even backed up, even in a predictable situation. Great job coming out. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Bangs it through for an extra point. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Auburn is currently trailing, but this has been a back-and-forth affair. And if that quarterback can find a little magic, it might not be over just yet. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Arkansas. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll go to the ground. On the move at the 30. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick it to the run. Nice job getting the first down. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all of the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Cowboys come to the line with a new set of downs. Quick handoff. Nice move to stay on his feet. He rumbles ahead for six inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. To the air. It's Svoboda. Finds his back in the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split them out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving the ball out of the backfield. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Well, how about that play call? Third down, turn it around, hand it to the big fella, your fullback, and he does the work to get the first. Now on the counter. Now, that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Zings it complete to the right. 
He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. You can hand it to him. You can throw it to him. Either way, he's making his presence felt. Those are your favorite plays, Reese. The him plays, right? <laughs> Finding ways to get him the ball because he can make plays, whether it's running or receiving out of the backfield. They're going to continue to highlight this guy. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And the defense stands up this offensive line and stuffs him right at the line of scrimmage. He didn't get it. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. It is perfect. And with that, they've taken the lead. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. Let's see what he can do with the return. And the returner will be knocked down. North Texas sends the offense back onto the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. The quarterback just needs to settle down. He looks like he's just too excited right now. He had his receiver wide open down the field and just put way too much mustard on that throw, overthrowing an open guy. That should have been six. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. North Texas will have to punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Not going to risk a return here. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. And off to Jones. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Lining up to convert third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught near the sticks, it's King. That'll get the job done and move the chains and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Shoots it to the left. It's complete. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got a cannon. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far.
We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. Pressure coming. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Well, they don't pick up the first down after the catch. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. And it comes as absolutely no surprise. The offense will stay on the field and go for it on fourth and inches. They'll try it on the ground. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. No hesitation on that call and no reason not to go for it on fourth and inches. We're bigger than you, we're tougher than you, we're stronger than you, and we're going to get a push, and they did it right there. Might as well give it to him again. The ball squirts free, and the defense snatches it, and they reverse the field. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. We'll hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. And how about the keen eyes and sharp awareness from the coach to challenge that call? And the officials agree it'll go his way. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Grabbed in the middle, it's Brown. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. My goodness, this offense has got it rolling. They might put up a 50-burger. This defense, they don't have any answers right now. They're going to have to figure something out. The Cowboys have it in scoring position on first and goal. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Ohio State is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Troy Smith, and they're right back in this. They're trailing by 11 to Marshall. Back if anything big happens, you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Ball is free. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. As a defender, 
You love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. They'll snap it from the 30 on first down. Now on the move. You know, we talk about quarterbacks having to make quick decisions, and I think you saw it on that play. Nobody opened downfield, and he just decided to take off. Got five wide outs spread across the field on second and five. Looking to pass, it's Svoboda. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Finds his big tight end. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Cowboys line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Got nothing last time, now second and goal from the three. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. And he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. I love the effort by the defense. The last play, gain of no yards. This play, they get a sack. They're playing excellent defense right now up against their own goal line. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Going for six. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. Really nice job working the route, getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. North Texas takes possession. The Mean Green offense will return to the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. He finds his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. He's looking for an open man. And that pass picked off. Didn't get a chance to show off those return skills, but he gives his offense the ball at the 29. Not all guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play, and catch it. <laughs> you know, you play defense for a reason. A lot of the wide receivers are the ones that do most of the catching. Great job by the defense securing the INT. And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. The give to the back. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And he's knocked down immediately, but they're in the red zone at the 14. This guy is just wearing them out. Another first down already has a couple of touchdowns in the first half, David. He has been a problem for this defense. And if I'm this offense, I'm going to continue to feature him. He's winning his matchups. I'm going to find him. It's just the first half, and he's already had himself a full game's worth of stats. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Just feeds the running back. And he could not get loose on the run. The back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carrier? The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can pick up the first without scoring. They'll try to get it through the air. Makes the grab. And he will score. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Bringing it back. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. North Texas sends the offense back onto the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Well, this guy's not easy to bring down. They just throw him a simple hitch pass, but he's got so many moves out in the open field. You've got to get a lot of hats to the football to get that guy down, prevent him from scoring on big plays. Now facing a second and 10 from the 28 after that last incompletion. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. On the move. It's Morris. They're bringing heat. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. North Texas will have to punt it away. It's so nice when you know it's third and long. You know a pass is coming. You worked on it all week. Get your feet set at the sticks. Understand that quarterback. Nice execution by this defense.
Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, Dave. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. It's first and ten for this offense from the 42. He wants to throw. Fires to the right. He's got it. And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. And they've got their quarterback right now in a groove. Pulls it in. It's Brown. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Leaves it with the back. Across the 25, he's got room. Lowers those pads. Touchdown, Wyoming. He would not be denied. Boy, did he just scorch that defense for that score. He shows you all of it, Reese. He's got, he's got the speed. He's got the agility. This dude's a big-time playmaker. You just give him the ball, and he'll find different ways to kill you on different plays. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Cincinnati is currently a big right now in a game they'll be talking about in the Queen City for some time. They're up by 21 over Houston. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Wants to throw on first down. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. <laughs> And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, North Texas. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Getting set for the point after. Right down the middle. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's King. Didn't find any crease in that the 17. And 
Wyoming takes over the football in the Cowboy offense on its way out. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive work. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Power football with the run. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Sticks it in his belly. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Denton than you have for what's been a fun first half? The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at lovely DatQ Stadium. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin.
Texas will kick it off to start things here in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all to that return at the 22. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They'll open the second half on the ground. Sweet feet on the move. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing and they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. On the run. It's Svoboda going for the big play. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Off he goes. Touchdown, Cowboys. And the stomping has commenced. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Find his man down the middle. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's got it out to the 37 after gaining five. They've got it at the 37. It's first and ten. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. North Texas has it going to work with another first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Second down coming up. From the gun, the give, looking for room. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Ball marked at the 26. It's first and 10. Finds the tight end. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the change with the first down. North Texas doing business from the red zone. And watch the offensive line here. They all block run. Because they're blocking run, the quarterback decides, oh, I got a favorable matchup. He dumps it out to the right, makes the right read, gets a nice positive game. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for a man. It's Morris. Got his man in the middle. Touchdown, Mean Green. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. 
a methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I'll tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. Lining up to add another. Splits those uprights right in half. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. The give to the tailback. Bulls his way forward. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll give it to the back. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Man, that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. You need to put more plays together like that right there. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Cowboys are on the move. Trying to find his man on first down. Gets it out fast. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. After that last loss, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Nice sack by the defense. Great job getting to him, getting him on the ground. That's the fourth sack of the day. This defense has had some bright moments, but they've also given up some big plays. Keep rushing the quarterback, but keep that coverage intact in the back end. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Wyoming. And the route is on. This receiver is dangerous because of what he can do after the catch. Once he has the football, he is so good at making defenders miss. You saw it on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Minnesota is ahead right now in Minneapolis, but that's not exactly Bronco Nagurski out there controlling the game. This one is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Iowa. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. To the ground with the back. Hard running there. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25. Give him one. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. To the air, it's Morris. Now he's gonna glide away from pressure. Gets away from one, he's got space. And he's running in the open. A huge play and they get it all the way to the 45 yard line. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme, there is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field and there's nothing you can do about it. Gets it past the marker. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side. They just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. He's got him this time. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. He'll pull it on the read. Touchdown, North Texas! And they take it in for six more points. Well, they go back to the option play, and now this is the second time, Paul, this QB has scored running this scheme offensively. Yeah, and as a defense, you got to understand when you're playing the option, it's responsibility football. i got to stop my assignment. I can't get caught in somebody else's business. You could tell this defense not really ready for this quarterback run game. They better figure it out, or it's going to be a long game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic right down the boulevard 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown and what a way to finish it with a nine yard touchdown run on the run from inside his own five he was hoping for something Wyoming has the football back and here comes the offense 
This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. Here's the handoff. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. Start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run is coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He makes a catch. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Well, I love play callers that want to stay aggressive, regardless of what the score is, regardless of how much time is left on the clock. And I promise you this, there are a lot of fans, there are a lot of teams all across college football that are paying attention to what is happening right now. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. What a tough-minded, hard-edged run. He gets it to the 24. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. And off to Jones. Keeps the legs moving. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep running the football. Everything is going according to plan right now. They've been able to stay on the field. They put some nice plays together back to back to back and they're bleeding the clock. This is exactly what you practice for, for situations like this. Just keep doing what you're doing. They'll leave it with him. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four, and he's down at the 12. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. 
give to the running back. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. He makes a grab. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Defenses are put in such a tough spot when offenses get in third and short because the whole playbook is open, and they go with the pass. I love it. They sneak the pass in there. Nice success. Great job by the quarterback getting rid of the football, getting the first down, now set up first and goal. And the Cowboys have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. The big fullback's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys! And the punishment has been extended. They extend the lead here in the fourth, and after stumbling early, about to push their record to 3-1. and one. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me, or I should get conserved, because this offense obviously has had themselves a day to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Texas takes possession. The mean green offense will return to the field. To the air, it's Morris. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, and fortunate to get it back. Here comes the offense on second down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great, but we got to go up tempo. We got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ball game. We got to put a lot of drives together and maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Going back to the well, another deep ball. And it's caught inside the 20. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Mean Green. Nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling, and you're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. On to attempt the try. And it's perfect. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Ohio State is currently ahead in this one, but it's been a tight one so far in Columbus. They're up by five. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. 
Leaves it with the running back. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I, I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. I got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. And off to Jones. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Fullback's got it. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. The Cowboys will punt this one away. No return coming. North Texas sends the offense back onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. Oh, picked off. Got room on the return. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Wyoming. They put another score on the board as they try to push this winning streak to three. Dude, this, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. PAT unit on the field. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Fielded in the end zone, it's Sheffield. Knocked down right at the 25, and I guess he breaks even, bringing it out of the end zone. North Texas takes possession. The mean green offense will return to the field. Spits it out to the back. Makes the grab. It's Evans. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Wants to fire on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Looking to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Well, there's a great example of the receiver working back to his quarterback on the curl route against man coverage. He drives back towards the football, makes the catch, and gets the first down. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Got the quick pass. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about timing. you got to throw that football before he breaks. Nice job seeing it. Short yard situation. You throw the ball on the money so the receiver can get upfield and get the first down. Fires to the big fella. Got like that big, reliable security run. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. 
Another hit on the quarterback. All day long, this defense has been able to pin their ears back and get after this guy. And because of that, he's never gotten into a rhythm throwing. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, North Texas. In a lot of losses, you just want to burn the tape. You don't want to watch it. But I think there are some things that they can take into next week from this performance. No doubt, offense is about finding your rhythm, finding your groove, what you do well. And you can tell, at least now, starting to get a little something-something going that maybe you can build on. Lining up for the PAT. Blitz the uprights. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. They'll try the run. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Now facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Clemens. Trying to get to him. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. And the Cowboys will send out the punt unit. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. What a great shot inside the 10. North Texas sends the offense back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his big tight end. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Off the play fake on first down. Wide open downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. Going up top on first down. Quickly complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. That completion leaves us with second and medium. That pass is incomplete. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. He makes the connection. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. To the air on first down. Throws to the wideout. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. They'll run play action. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. The aerial assault continues. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Looking to go up top on first down. That's caught at Sheffield. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. Makes the catch. 
And to the end zone. Touchdown, Mean Green. That's number two on the day, having a day. I mean, you know he's going to catch the football, and you know he's going to make plays after he catches. Those are the kind of guys that you feature, and you find them, and they produce like this. You keep finding them. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. Back to pass, it's Morris. He'll make his way in for the two, and now they're down by 16. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. A few anxious moments there, but the hands team, true to its name, as they make the... Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. Really nice job stopping the run, but the problem is you have zero timeouts left. You cannot stop the clock right now if you're the defense, so this has got to be excruciating for them. They know the offense is just going to take their time before they snap the ball. Bully ball on third and short. Nice move, creates some space. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there, breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. After the stumble earlier this year, a lot of people wrote this team off. People might be searching for spots on the bandwagon again now. Yeah, give this coaching staff a lot of credit too, Reese, because they made a few tweaks and adjustments schematically to their personnel as well, and they've really now seemed to find a nice rhythm. And it's hard to find that early in the season, but the good teams figure out who they are, what they do well, and you could tell they're starting to get in a groove, figure out who does what well and maximize that and accentuate that. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
the Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. Next week is the start of conference play as the Air Force Academy Falcons come into Laramie to take on the Cowboys.